Hello everyone, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn a bit more about the Actions class and how you can use the methods in Actions class to drag and drop the web elements on any web page. So uh, I'll take an example. So here you can see that there are, you know, jQuery user interface web elements, which, which you can, you know, resize or select or drag and drop. So for example, this one, uh, you can drag this web element and drop at a particular location or at any any other location on the page, right? So we'll see how you can handle the drag and drop events in uh, the Selenium web driver. So to do that, uh, we'll use the same, you know, actions classes there. It provides you the ability to do that. So what we'll do is we'll simply uh, copy the mouse over code and we'll change uh, the details on that so we'll see um, drag and drop okay so now what we need to do is we need to first open the jQuery interface website and we'll open uh, the droppable page wherein we will emulate the action for a drag and drop okay so it's taking a while to load. Let me refresh the page. Okay, droppable. Yep. So I'll copy this location and we'll go to this page. All right. So it will open the page, maximize the page. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to basically find which element we have to drag and where to drop, right? So, uh, there are two things that you need to remember here. First thing is basically which particular element or what element on the particular page you want to drag. So you have to first identify that and the location where you want to drop, right? So if I just right click on the web element that I want to drag, I'll, you know, get the locator for that particular web element, right? So I'll simply inspect it and there is an id draggable right so i'll simply use the id draggable for this one okay so we'll simply uh, store this web element so we'll say driver dot find element by id and we'll use the id so the id was and id is draggable okay so we'll use that and right Okay, so now the return type is web element. So we'll store this web element into a variable. So we'll say web element and name it as uh, drag. All right. And then we'll identify the droppable location. Okay, so we'll go to that drop area, inspect wherever you want to drop. Okay, and ID is droppable. So we'll simply use the ID and we'll copy this whole line and just replace the droppable id here and we'll say here as the name as drop okay now with the actions class we have already created the object right and now instead of you know what what you need to do is you need to use the method instead of move you need to do dot drag and drop there is a method drag and drop where you can provide web element source so in this case the source is drag uh, the web element that needs to be dragged and target is the location where you need to drop right so we'll use drag and drop and then there is also the method that says drag and drop by which in which you can provide the source the web element that you want to drag and drop at a particular offset okay so you can provide x and y uh, offset in this case which is integer uh, comma separated and then it will drag the particular web element and drop at the particular location that you specify by the x and y offset so in this case we'll simply use you know drag and drop source and target so in this case source is drag right and the target is drop all right and then what you need to do is you need to perform all right okay so that's 
pretty much all you need to do in order to drag and drop the web element on the web page. So uh, let me run this and see this particular, you know, example. Uh, sorry, we just updated this whole thing into the slider page. Let me, uh, or what I'll do is I'll simply say, uh, rename it. So refactor, rename, I'll say drag and drop demo, okay? Okay, now let me run it and see the results. So let me save it. So it should open the browser um, and then drag and drop that particular web element. So let's see what the issue is. Okay, there is some failure. Uh, it's not able to find the web element with the locator. Okay, let's see why it's not able to find um, the these web elements. So let's close these windows here and go to this particular web page. Okay. Um, let's identify this locator here i look it looks like this is a frame and that is why it's not able to yeah it is so you can see here um that this is iframe right so we have to first because by default once uh, the browser opens the the you know control is at the you know uh, not not in inside the frame right so you have to first move the control within the frame if the web elements are within the frame and if you haven't watched my previous tutorial how to handle frames or switch to frame then you can watch that as well to get more detail so we'll simply switch within that particular frame so what i'll do is i'll copy you know the locator for the frame because this is the frame if you just uh, you know identify that hover over then you can see this is the whole frame okay so we'll simply uh, you know just copy uh, the X path okay and then switch to that particular frame so we'll say um, web element frame is equal to driver dot find element by and we copied the X path so we'll use the X path for uh, that particular frame oh so we need to find something unique that this didn't work so let's go back and identify the frame okay so so we'll simply say um just copy this iframe all right and okay all right so this should identify the frame and now what we'll do is we'll switch to that particular frame before we identify the draggable and droppable items so what we'll do is we'll simply say driver dot switch to right dot frame and we'll provide the web element for the frame okay so we have stored it in the variable frame and then it should switch to that particular frame and then it should be able to find let me clear all that and run this test again and see if this works this time so it will open um, switch to that particular frame and then drag and drop yeah so you see that it worked so it actually it was the issue with the frame so it wasn't able to move to that particular frame and then you know identify the web element so this time it moved to that particular frame because this is the frame which is sort of sub uh, you know uh, html document uh, or child HTML, html document within the main document so you have to first switch to that particular frame and then perform these operations so that's all for this drag and drop tutorial uh, we have learned how you can you know drag the jquery elements from a web page to a particular location in uh, in that particular web page so this is the only thing you need to remember so the actions class drag and drop is the method that you will need to use drag and drop functionality or to perform drag and drop functionality in selenium web driver so that's all for this tutorial hope you like it thank you very much for watching